Hi, I'm Liz Haas with Raises Photo Mass, and I would like to introduce our SR3000 photo resist film to you. SR3000 can really be used for all of your etching projects, such as your wine bottles, your optic crystal, your glass, your stainless steel, your metals, as well as your natural stone, river rocks, your granite, your tile, ceramics. SR3000 is able to tackle or sandblast all of those items. You're gonna start with your vector image, vector artwork, Black Eagles Blast. And the film comes in sheets as well as rolls. The sheet size is eight and a half by 14 inches and your rolls are 14 inches wide by 25, 50 or 100 feet. Okay, so we're gonna apply our SR3000 sheet. We're gonna cut, put the shiny side against the blanket. We're gonna take our artwork side, place it against the dull side. We're gonna wrap it up into our cylinder. Turn on the electrolyte unit. And then we're gonna expose for just 20 seconds. That's it. It only takes 20 seconds to develop the SR3000. We expose for 20 seconds and that's it. And the reason why I have a timer is because the electrolyte unit is a minute timer. So we wanna make sure we have an accurate count at 20 seconds and I can do that with this digital timer. Now I would like to remove the mask and wash it out for you. There are two ways that you can wash out the mask. One is by hand washing and the other is by automation. Now Raise This has built for you several automatic washout systems. And I'd like to demonstrate one for you right now. So now that I have my mask, let's apply it here to this drum, shiny side down into our 1020 automatic washout system. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna turn on the valve, it's a water valve. All right, let's take a look at our sheet. It should be washed. Okay, here we go. Yes, that looks really nice. All you have to do is remove it from the drum and put it in your dryer or lay it flat and the mask will dry on its own. All right, now that I've washed out my sheet, I always like to hold it up to the light just to make sure that I have everything washed out and all my areas, especially my detailed areas, are nice and clean. And here I have a nice clean sheet. The 1020 automatic washout system is perfect. It's hands-free, you load the sheet, turn on the, your water valve. It takes anywhere from 40 to 55 seconds to completely wash one sheet and you're done. Now I would like to show you hand washing as another option to develop your film. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply my exposed sheet shiny side down against the white board, put my little magnet strip, take my hand sprayer, turn on my hot water, and I'm gonna stay about one to two inches away from the mask. And what I want to do is I want to wash close and consistently. And the distance you should want to be about anywhere from two to four inches. I like to be about two inches to start. And once my image starts to appear to be white, then I'll pull back to about four inches. So you can kind of see the design appearing. And I have here the Razus hand sprayer. It's a pressurized fan spray, and it provides consistent, a consistent spray throughout the photo mask. And there's my black areas of my artwork dissolving. almost done, so I'm gonna kind of pull back my hand sprayer to about four inches. And I'm gonna target my text, the detailed area in the middle. And that's washed out, that is all done. I'm gonna kind of pull the board up and take a look at it. And all my centers and my letters, everything looks good, completely washed. I have the presidential seal here with all the little feathers. And I have here a three mil mask, so it's able to capture all that detail in that presidential seal. So now what I'd like to do is remove this mask and then you can let it dry. You can place it in a film dryer, you can lay it flat. Some people like to hang it up, but as it's drying, it's actually becoming sticky on one side. I would like to show you application of SR3000. I have a 
my stencil ready to be blasted. And I have a covered paper applied to the back of it. The covered paper just allows me to store my stencils and protect the sticky side from any dust or debris. So I'm gonna remove the cover paper and I'm gonna apply it to my clean glass. I just use a regular glass cleaner. You wanna clean your surface before you apply the stencil. And what I've done here is this is a curved surface and the SR3000 is very flexible. It allows you to apply the mask to a curved surface. And the way that you apply a mask is you're gonna pinch the corner here and I need to separate the clear carrier from the mask. And the clear carrier allows the mask to become very flexible. So here's this clear carrier that I'm removing. I'm gonna remove it completely. And now I'm gonna apply my stencil to the glass. And what's great is I can, if I don't like where it's at, I can pick it up and I can reposition it. The mask is very forgiving. So if you don't line it up correctly to where you want it, just pick it up and realign it to where you want it. So I'm looking at this. I have it lined up where I want it. Now I'm going to use, I will use my fingers to apply pressure to secure the mask to the glass. Remember the film is pressure sensitive and you want to make sure that you kind of, that you apply pressure to secure the mask to the glass. The second application tool is using your wire wheel roller just to roll over the design and perforate or puncture that thin membrane, that plastic, to release any trapped air that could be between the glass and the mask. So I'm just using a blue painter's tape. And the reason why I'm using a painter's tape is because I'm not going to etch deep on this design. It's just gonna be a surface etch. If I was blasting deeper, then I would use a heavy duty tape, such as my sandblasting tape this tape right here. So now we're ready to sandblast. All right, so let's clean this when turn on the water. Just kind of remove, remove the tape and the photo resist that comes off very easily. And just use the water just to kind of help me to remove the rest of the blue mask. Now it's clean. Just need to dry it with a towel and I'm ready to go.